All right, guys. I'm gonna start over with the what I was just trying to say. You're gonna put oil in here, and you're gonna make sure it's manufacturer spec, and you can go to your owner's manual or your just go to Google. Google will tell you too. And just engine size V6 3.7 liter. If you don't know, 3.7 liter. And then in the codes, 3.7 liter. Boom. But there is a little piece right there in the inside there. You could choose to pull that out if you'd like to, to make it a little easier to go. But you don't have to, to make oil go down there. So that everyone understands, you don't have to pull it out in order to make oil go down there. So fill it up, check it, and you'll be done. Make sure all of your stuff is tight. Your oil filter is snug to hand, and your drain plug is snug and tight. Once you're done on the bottom, you're done on the bottom. And you'll go up top, you'll fill everything up, you'll check the fill level, and then you'll start her up for a second, make sure the old pressure light goes out, and turn her off, check the old level again. Verify that it's full, and you're done. You're done with your oil change. That's it. Uh, fluid levels there. You're gonna fill up that, your washer fluid. Uh, that's a pressurized coolant reservoir, so it's just filled there. You can purge it there, but that's got some years on it, it's hard to come out. Yep, the oil change on the Jeep is done, and we'll move forward to something else. See you guys later.